the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come here to this holy place, we um, continue to depend on God for everything in our lives. And so we ask him to be present to us at every moment of every day. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant we who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel and Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel-Mephalah, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks. You my glance see. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard it said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I was watching a, uh, a movie uh, last night, and as the movie began, the evil queen was over the village, and everybody was sad, and nobody danced, and nobody partied. And then by the end of the film, the, um, the main character got the king back, and then everybody was smiling and dancing and having lots of food. It seems like sometimes you and I have forgotten that we still have a king who is in charge. Because I'm almost positive that all of those people in the village still had problems and issues and concerns and sickness and problems. But they knew that everything was going to be okay because the king was back. Well, the king never left. Jesus Christ never left. Even though we are struggling with the coronavirus, even though we are struggling with injustice and prejudice and hatred and violence, all these things going on around us everywhere, the king is still here. The king is still in charge and he's still over us. And so we need to continue to dance. We need to continue to celebrate. We need to continue to, you know, to be joyful and to live our lives. It doesn't really matter if we are struggling with a pandemic or with whatever else is going on. We need to continue to live and to live wholeheartedly. And so, my dear friends, we need to watch our thoughts. In the gospel today, um, it talks about how even if a man thinks about another person in the wrong way, a woman in the wrong way, he's already done that sin. Whoa, pretty powerful, isn't it? Pretty scary. Because we know that our thoughts can go all over the place. So what are we doing when we think um, thoughts of hatred? When we think um, thoughts of hopelessness, when we have thoughts of despair. We need to remember that we have a king who is there to help us, who is there to walk with us every step of the way. And so, my, my dear friends, don't allow these hard times, you know, to get you down, but instead allow your king to get you through. Because one day, this will all be over, and we'll be talking about it as if it was a long time ago. And so, my dear friends, we turn to our God and King who continues to take care of us each and every day. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and all the people of God, that we in the spirit of faith Continue to remind everyone that God is still in control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, O God, our light. You have given us a new day resplendent with your glory. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. You enlighten the world through the resurrection of your Son. Through your church, shed his light on all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. You gave the disciples of your only begotten Son the Spirit's gift of understanding. Through the same Spirit, keep the church faithful to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Light of nations, remember those who remain in darkness. Open their eyes and let them recognize you, the only true God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Rosary Parish and the whole world, that those who suffer illness or despair will be healed, and all who have died will see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, let us offer them in silence. pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, continue to help us to know that you are walking with each of us every single day. And we ask all of our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is our God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Care. 
so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of the dead. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be saved. Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you. O oh, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand, and as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, O Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially for your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, 
our bishop, and the whole order of my bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, please grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Union Antiphon, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God is saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. Starting on Sunday, I mean on Saturday uh, through the following Saturday, we will have the, uh, the um, same schedule. I know that there are um, rumors going around that we have been pulled. We have not been pulled. 
We've had masses for four weeks, and we've never turned one single person away at any of our masses. So that's not true. So spread the word that we have plenty of room, and you are welcome to come. Um, please wear a mask and please wash your hands and all that stuff because the coronavirus is a stubborn old virus and just won't go away. So we will continue on and we will try to do as best as we can um, going forward. So um, stay strong and stay healthy and have a good day. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you abundantly, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Let us now turn to our Blessed Mother and ask her to pray for Holy Rosary Parish, for Holy Rosary, for St. W., and for Holy Rosary Catholic School, and for all of those who do not have anyone to pray for them. Hail, Holy, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of need. To thee do we set up our sides, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn in, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy holy Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God. Amen. 